Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be planning a unit study on Mexico. If you saw my last video on um, our history curriculum, you know that it did not work out sadly. So what's a girl to do but to plan her own? So grab a cup of coffee, get a pen and paper, and let's get to planning. work out for us. I will link that video above if you're interested on seeing the reasons why, but luckily I have a backup plan. So when we first started homeschooling, one of the things that was really important to both me and my husband was that the kids eventually learn Spanish. Now my husband was born in Mexico. He speaks fluent Spanish and you know we just thought that it would be a really great way to enrich our children's lives by learning a second language. And this year when we were picking out our Spanish curriculum, I thought it would be really fun if we did a unit study at some point in the year on Mexico. So then that way they can learn about the land and the culture and just all of the wonderful things that are also part of their heritage. So when Biblio planned and it worked out for us and I was like, oh my goodness, we need another history curriculum. I decided let's plan the unit study now. Now, my original intention was to not plan the unit study. I wanted to kind of outsource it, not gonna lie. I wanted to go on Google or Pinterest or somewhere. Sorry, you guys, baby's gonna be loud. And find something that was already done. I wanted easy, but that didn't work out. Every one of them that I clicked on, it, it kind of got me disappointed when we'd get to the food part and it was like, what do they eat in Mexico? And I would see tacos and burritos. Really? That's like an Americanized version of what they eat in Mexico. That is not just, to me, when, okay, let me back up a little bit. Whenever we plan a vacation, my goal is to eat my way through that place. <laughs> so I love food and I think that food is such a large part of the Hispanic culture. And if you're going to really teach about another country, why would you not teach more than what you can find at Taco Bell? Like, that's ridiculous to me. You know, we, there's so much more in, you know, being served in Hispanic yeah. households than tacos and burritos. There's gorditas, there's tortas, there's tamales, there's albondigas, there's all of these amazing foods. And one of the things that I love is there's always three common ingredients, which is tomatoes, onions, garlic, and then, you know, a certain seasoning. And you can take those three to four ingredients and you can do all of these different things with it. You can make all of these different dishes and they all taste completely different and it's just such a beautiful medley. So I got angry about tacos and burritos on all these unit studies I was finding and I decided to create my own. So today I'm gonna go over the books and if you wanna stick around until the end, I'll do a flip through on all of them. Well, my main learning objectives for this unit study is basically an introduction to everything. I want them to be introduced to the culture, the, the land, um, just the different holidays that are celebrated in Mexico and obviously the language. So the two books that I'm gonna be using as our main source of curriculum is Exploring Countries Mexico and The Great Book of Mexico. This one's actually pretty long. It's a pretty thick chapter book. And so I've planned this out for a six week unit study and these are the two books that we're gonna go over every single week. For our first week, we are going to be reading three pages from Exploring Mexico. And then we're going to be going over chapter one, which is Mexico's history before the Spanish. And we're not gonna read all of it, we're just gonna be bouncing around to different parts of the chapter. Then for a fun supplemental book, because I really wanted to add in some picture books for the kids and um, just things that I thought that they would enjoy that would kind of tie it all together for them and that would just kind of grasp their, their imaginations a little bit more. So the first one is gonna be Dia de los Muertos. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And um, we're gonna be watching videos on um, the Mayans and how they came to be. And we're gonna color, I'm gonna print out some um, Mexico flag templates and they're gonna color those and they're gonna write three things from everything that they learned. And my requirement for that is that it has to be something of substance. My 
my son loves to just write something like, oh, they went there to this place. And I'm like, yeah, that's not going to fly, son. So <laughs> he has to write something of substance. It has to be something that um, really stood out to him or something that he really truly learned from it. Because at the, I'm going to have them do that every week where they write three to four things that they learned. And then on the very last week, they're going to take everything that they wrote and they're going to tie it all together. They're either going to do some kind of project where they make a poster board or they can write a report. They can do whatever they want, but it has to be something of substance, something that they really, truly learn from it. The next one, and I'm really excited about this because it looks like such a beautiful book. I can't wait to show you guys in the flip through, but it's Lily Huckleby Goes to Mexico. In this one, we are going to be watching videos on um, Cinco de Mayo, and we're going to be writing our three things of substance, and we're going to be um, working through a Mexico binder that I put together, and I will do a flip through of that one at the end as well. And then in our great book of Mexico for that um, week, we are also going to be going over the origins of Cinco de Mayo, the Monroe Doctrine, uh, the Emperor of Mexico, so uh, that'll be chapter two from this book. For the third week, we're going to be reading Where Are You From? And during this week, we are going to be talking about how it feels to be different, and we're going to be watching videos on the different places that people can come from, as well as um, cutting out different people from magazines. And and just talking about differences, but yet how we're all still made the same and we're all still made in God's perfect love and that even though somebody may look different from us, that doesn't mean that there's anything bad in that. On week four, we are going to be doing some activities from our Day of the Dead activity book. We are also going to continue reading the Great Book of Mexico. This is actually going to be the week where we get into music. So we're gonna watch Coco, we're gonna watch videos on mariachi bands, we're gonna watch folk music. We are also going to start creating an ofrenda. So an ofrenda is um, basically like a tape, an altar where you can honor your deceased loved ones. And I think that that is a really nice way for the kids to learn how to honor those who you know we've lost in our family and <laughs> Hopefully just pay tribute to them. Then in the fifth week, we will be reading La Frontera. Um, this is a story about migration from Mexico to the US and how a little boy um, basically like travels here. And during this week, we will actually be going to a Day of the Dead festival that I found locally, which I'm super excited about. I think it's gonna be really fun for the kids and it'll kind of, I don't know, just get them excited because of the music and the dancing and the food and, and I love food. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to be just working on our friendas and we're going to be writing three things of substance as well as reading I Remember Abuelito. And it says it is a Day of the Dead story. It says, I miss Abuelito, but tonight his spirit will visit us. We will put his favorite things on his grave and we will celebrate his life. Then, in our Great Book of Mexico, we will be going over different types of music, folk music, mariachi. We'll be learning how soccer is, you know, a highly celebrated sport in Mexico. We're going to go over a lot of um, just kind of pop culture sports type things that week. Then for our final week, we will be watching The Book of Life, which is one of our favorites. And we're going to be reading this little Dia de los Muertos book, and we will just tie it all together that week. We actually, I bought um, this little mold to make sugar skulls because I thought that that would be really fun for the kids. They would enjoy getting to make it, paint it, put it on the ofrenda. And it's this little box that I got from Amazon. It's an ice tray. And it's... I mean, it's about the size of my palm. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it basically has an outline. So I found some recipes online for sugar skulls, and I think that that's gonna be something that they really enjoy making. And um, that's gonna be the week that we tie it all together. They're gonna make their poster boards. They're gonna say what they've learned. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so you guys can see the flip through of the books. 
All right, so here is Noah's folder that I had mentioned in the video. This is just a little activity packet that I put together. I found it for free online somewhere. If I can find where I grabbed it from, I will try to link it below, along with all of the books that I have mentioned. But it's just like a little fun crossword puzzle or word search puzzle, and then some mazes, some coloring activities. Mexico before or you're looking to do one now let me know in the comments below hit that red subscribe button give me a big thumbs up I'll see you again later bye